Uh, questions from Rev Bong Kev. Uh, he says, thoughts on Darwin? Just focus on the positives. I think there were so many positives to talk about with Darwin Nunes today. Um, the, his, his aggression, uh, the way he was getting in behind, the way he's getting chances. Yes, he missed a couple. Shouldn't be finishing them. But as soon as one goes in, uh, the floodgates will open. This lad has so much quality, guys. I don't know how, how you can look at a player of, in the, even in the last two games, I think that Darwin Nunes isn't worth, um, isn't looking like he's worth the money. Like, oh my goodness me, he he's someone, he's someone who is is going to be right up there. I was really impressed with Darwin Nunes, um, and yeah, it just needs one goal to go in, and then and then the floodgates will open, and we have to treat it like that. But at the end of the day, guys, he's twenty three years old, um, and I understand the price tag is a lot, and a lot of expectations will be on him. But yeah, Nunes, unbelievable for me. Um, the what I look, I tend to personally tried to tend to look beyond sort of GNA um, and, and goals and assists um, with GNA goals and assists. I, I tend to try and look at the movement and the fact that if a player's getting chances, that's why I was never so keen to slate Sadio Mane because he was always getting the chances. Uh, he was just missing them. Um, and, and an indicator is if, if you are a top player is that you'll get the chances. Nunes is getting them and it's really, really good to see. And it did try and see, it did seem a little bit like towards the end of the people were trying to force him through to goal, especially Mo Salah really wanted uh, Nunes to score. Uh, but yeah, I was, I was thoroughly impressed with Darwin, if I'm being honest. What are your guys' thoughts about, on him? As Zan, Zane said here, Darwin was very good off the ball today. At, and I completely agree. Off the ball, he was really good. He was caught offside once. Uh, but apart from that, I was I was thoroughly impressed. Uh, impressed? I was thoroughly impressed. He's a top, top player, guys. Um, and he, he's someone who I think we can be really excited about this season. It's even off the two glimpses from today. But what did Craig think? And what do you guys think as well about Darwin? Do you think he's uh, he, he's shown uh, some of his potential throughout the game? <laughs> I was thinking his movement might have improved from last game. Thinking he needs to sync more with the team. Won't take long until they all know what to expect from each other. Exactly. It's a Jurgen Klopp team. They usually tend to take a little while to to get used to the system. One one guy who I thought had a surprisingly decent game was Adrian San Miguel. Uh, made a couple of really good saves, claimed some crosses, um, did everything a goalkeeper should do. And that's not usually what Mr. Adrian San Miguel does. Starting at fullback, uh, James Milner, I thought was impressive. Again, um, I thought he was one of our better players against Manchester United. And once again, one of our better players today. But I suppose that comes naturally earlier in preseason when you're a fit uh, player, you're usually going to be good. Uh, central defenders, uh, Joel Matip looked fine. He did make one little error. Um, so, yeah, he, he wasn't uh, at it. I think the ball came over his head and Matata just got in behind. Canate was imperious, wasn't he? Absolutely imperious. I was so impressed by him. One of the better players in the game. One of the man of, men of the match for me. And his turn of pace, man. His turn of pace. Unreal. Kostas Simikas did some really good crosses. And by the way, the absolute definite penalty. Yeah, we'll, we'll go Adrian seven. Um, I, I'm I'm I was fairly confident with Adrian today. So uh, he didn't he didn't do anything wrong. Uh, I'll say Milner seven, um, Kanate eight, Matip six, and Simikas seven. Uh, Oxley Chamberlain uh, picking up an injury. Now people are saying, oh, injured again, injured again. He was literally not injured hardly at all last season. So I don't know what that that waffle is about. Um, but yeah, he's uh, he's someone who, in my opinion, doesn't have the quality to play for Liverpool on a regular basis. But he will be a regular part of the squad going into the next season, and that's fine for me. I feel I felt sorry for Ox today, uh, and hopefully the injury isn't too serious. So Jordan Henderson, I thought he did really well. Um, his goal was just indicative of, of Hendo coming late into the box. A great finish. And yeah, I thought overall he was fine. A bit, seven and a half out of ten. Um, Curtis Jones looked good to me. Um, good take-ons, really, really trying hard again. Uh, just needs, again, to just keep loosening up a six for me. And Harvey Elliott was an eight for me, level with Canate. Um, as I mentioned earlier, what a player, guys. What a player, uh, Harvey Elliott. I personally feel like Elliott, Elliott's just going to be saucy. He's going to be so, so saucy. I cannot wait. The front three, then, the first front three. Diaz, I'm going to go with a six. Um, I thought again, he, he looked like he was trying hard, taking players on. Uh, he didn't, he didn't really have the, the end product. He did lose, he won the ball back and lost it straight away sometimes. Uh, but yeah, I, I thought he was about a six. He wasn't as good as he was the other day, if I'm being honest. Um, Firmino, six. I did a couple of nice flip, a couple of nice flicks, but didn't really, uh, didn't really have much. So, uh, yeah, Firmino six and Ox. I think, I think Ox actually looked quite good before he, uh, had his, uh, had his injury. So I'm going to say 6.5 for Ox, um, which I think would be fair enough. 
Uh, he had a good shot saved by Guaita as well. Uh, so yeah, 6.5 for Oxide chamberlain um, moving swiftly on then, going into uh, the second half, Adrian did remain in goal. Uh, Trent Alexander-Arnold came on, um, and I thought, blimey, like, that boy is looking like a man now. Like, seriously, the lad is looking built. Do you guys notice this? Do you guys notice this, right? How built is Trent Alexander-Arnold looking? He is looking absolutely ripped. Um, so, uh, yeah, and also some of his interplay with Mo Salah was just absolutely exceptional. I, I, I absolutely love him. Yeah, so I'll, I'll go with a, a seven for Trent. Virgil came on, of course. Um, I think absolutely sound, no problem. Six and a half out of ten. Set van den Berg impressed me. Um, obviously, last time we saw him in a Liverpool shirt, he looked a little bit shaky, but he's had a couple of years away now with, um, with uh, Preston North End, and I thought he was good. Um, really good. So yeah, um, he, he's done really well and hopefully we'll see more of him this season. Uh, but it's a seven for me for him. Um, Robbo, same as six and a half out of 10 as per, as per usual. They're moving into midfield. Fabinho, I thought really picked up some, some, some good spaces. Uh, Tiago, guys, guys, I don't know if it's me. I don't know if it's me, but when Tiago, whenever he touches the ball, he, he just makes me make weird noises. It's it, honestly, he's so so good. Um, the way that he just the flicks, the the kicks, the long passes, the short passes it makes everything look so so easy. Uh, I thought he was uh, Tiago was unreal, so I'm going to give Tiago an eight as well. Um, just such promising signs, and hopefully he can have a continually good season. Then Nabi Kater again, another one I'm going to give an eight. Um, wow, what a, what a baller he is when he's on it. Um, Honestly, he's so, so good. Um, the way that he was picking up the ball, turning, twisting, finding new players, driving forward with the ball, pressing high. Uh, really, really great from Naby Keita. I think he he deserves an 8 out of 10 again. Um, and then the front three for that one, Mo Salah. Wow. Um, again, like Trent, is looking absolutely built, ripped like physical specimen. He always has been, but this season it just looks different. Uh, the way he was taking players on, um, I think the Premier League should be very, very scared uh, of Mo Salah this campaign. Uh, so yeah, I think Mo Salah is going to set get a, a, a seven and a half from me. Um, going on to the left-hand side, Fabio Carvalho. Wow. As well, again, like looking at him, um, you can just see shades of Phil Coutinho, can't you? Um, and then look, as he had a shot, it was a great save uh, from the goalkeeper. And Mo Salah just, just stood and clapped. And I was just like, yeah, wow, this boy is special. And I did speak about him earlier, but I'm going to speak about him again. People who are slating Darwin Nunes don't know ball. They really don't know ball. Like if, if people actually bothered to watch him with his eyes, instead of like seeing a couple of missed opportunities... They'd actually realise like what an incredible player he is. Even when he's out of form, when he, he's literally played sixty minutes for us, when even when he's out of form, he's creating chances for himself. He is in the always the right positions. He's creating up space and opportunities for others. This lad is class. He is so good, guys. And I'm going to give him a six and a half out of ten. Um, it was just it was madness. It was madness how how people are slating Darwin Nunes. Honestly. Like, the amount of space he was creating, the runs he was making, like, unreal. But he, he obviously he didn't put that goal, goal away. So I think you have to be fair and give him a six and a half.